on the way to check out ShopRite, see if they have any natural hair products. The chances that there's actually shea moisture in there is very slim to none. We even got the Eco Styler. I don't know if you're lying. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. To our channel I am JC if you are new here okay from just lost JC here oh whatever <laughs> all right you already know the vibes you already know the setup we have the fan going because it's hot it's really hot okay and this video as you can see from the title I wanted to do an experiment of sorts, basically to see what natural hair products that I'd be able to find and get if one was living in Nige, okay? Now, I have to preface this video with the location that I am currently. So I'm currently in Oware, which is the capital, I believe, of Imo State, if I'm correct. Well, well. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. So, it's a capital city, but um, it's of Imo State. Some people would consider Legas a more booming, happening city than Oware. So, so you might think, okay, maybe you'll be able to find better products there, and perhaps you would be able to. But I decided to conduct this experiment in Oware because it was the place where I had access, immediate access to more um, supermarket style stores rather than just the marketplace. So that's what I decided to do. So this is more like a vlog style type of video. So basically, okay, here there are certain places where they don't, they don't like people filming, I should say. And it's very, very touch and go here. I feel like some people just make up rules as you go. Like, hey, you can't film him, right? And it's like, who's, who said? Who, who, like you, I feel like you just made that up because you saw me with the camera. You, I don't believe that at all. So I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna make a huge big production of it. We did it kind of gorilla style, undercover style. But just when I got to the hair aisle, I pulled out my camera. So the first stop that I went to was Everyday Supermarket. It is a chain supermarket, I believe, here in Oware. I'm not sure if it's in other places, so let me know if you've heard of it. But it's a chain supermarket here. And it's really big, it has two floors and the top floor is pretty much dedicated to skincare, hair care, and then other little knickknacks that you would need, like cooking supplies, all that. So I figured there would be a great place to start. So this is the footage that I was able to get from Everyday Supermarket. Okay. So we have can two here. Hydrating cream conditioner, which I recognize. I don't really use that though, because silicones and stuff. And olive oil ORS, the sulfur eight. Um, let's see if there's anything that I like these. Oh, this is always a good sign. I love Jamaican like this, bro. Okay, Hawaiian silk. <laughs> That's that old school stuff that I do not use. I'm looking for things like Eden Body Works. Things like that, which I do not see there. These, so it, they kind of have like the older school natural hair products that I used to use but don't really use anymore because of some of the ingredients. Um, I don't see any of the ones that I would use here, unfortunately. Look at this. Mascara, which I have seen floating around. This has got to be glue gel. I have some, I guess it would be one of those things where you have to just figure out new products to use or bring, or a place that sells what I'm looking for, which is not here, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not seeing much silicone free, <laughs> which is my vibe. So. I don't know, but I will say it's a whole aisle, so that's good. They have quite a bit of products, which is good. VO5, but I think this is paraben free, silicone free per usual. And they seem to have this, so that's good. At least my cheapy. Oh, this is the shampoo. These are both shampoos, but um, I'm not sure if they have 
They don't have the conditioner of VO5, which would have been perfect. Anyway, this is the state of things. This. I know some people like these stuff a lot, so that's good. They have these, and this is going for 4000 which is what, about $8, I think? So. And it's funny because I actually ended up getting so much snacks. I came there for hair products, but ciao. <laughs> and what I actually end up getting. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm pretty sure I did some talking in that video, but you can see that I do recall um, seeing Cantu. You know, nothing you can't do, can't do. <laughs> I think that's the slogan. Anyway, I remember seeing that brand. Um, so that was good to see a familiar brand. I think there was ORS as well. Organic Root Stimulator was there. Um, and I can't think of anything off the top that I recall being there that I recognize. But in essence, I don't use any of those brands, to be honest. To be fair, all right, to be honest. So I think for me it would be like starting from scratch if everyday supermarket were my only option for getting hair care supplies or if that was a place that I wanted to go, which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. There are only certain things that I have in place, which is no silicones, no parabens, things like that. And it was kind of hard to see that on the label, but again, I didn't do a 100% deep, deep dive into looking at every product, every label. So I think I would be able to probably find a, a product that fits in that. Probably less likely here than in America. I feel like America, they very much so have catered to the fact that people no longer like silicones. Almost every product brand is trying to throw no silicones or get rid of their silicones in their products. Um, so you have more options, but here I'm not 100% sure if people really care about silicones like that. So I do think it will be more rare to find products that actually offer no silicone or silicone free, especially because silicone is a cheaper way, a uh, cheaper uh, material used to bolster up or to add slip to products. And I can see that I would assume that here some of the manufacturers, especially manufacturers that are not Nigerian, they don't really necessarily care about the consumer or what you necessarily need. They're just trying to cut as much corners as they can so that the product can be affordable for the people that live here. So that means silicones a lot of the times. And that's just, I'm just not having it, love. I'm just not having it. I can't do it. So I'd have to really deep dive. But I didn't stop there. I said, you know what? We're gonna go again. We're gonna go again, okay? Because I don't have the time. I need to see what I need to see. So the next stop, few days later ended up at ShopRite. So ShopRite is another bigger store here, reputable. You can guarantee that the products are going to be what they said they're going to be. Chain store here in Nigeria, I think in general, in Africa in general. I believe it was founded by a South African man, as my father said. So I think it started in South Africa and they've been putting branches all throughout Africa. So ShopRite was the next stop and I was very excited for ShopRite, like very excited because I've heard so much about ShopRite. I know ShopRite, I've seen ShopRite in America. Now I don't know the ShopRite's natural hair selection in America, obviously I'm more into Target for that. I don't even know if ShopRite's in America have natural hair sections or hair sections at all. Um, but I figured because it's the big superstore here, it would act as a Target and have all the things. And it pretty much was like a Target. It had all the things that you could imagine. So I'm just going to insert the footage that I was able to get from ShopRite. Again, very gorilla style, very getting in there, not very formal because I didn't want someone to tell me that I couldn't complete this video. Okay. Luckily no one did, but anyway. This is my outfit for the day. On the way to check out ShopRite here. Um, so we're going to see what natural hair products they have, if they have any, but I'm hoping they will. I hope. ShopRite, baby. Where you shop right, hopefully. This is, is this like a shopping mall or something? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it says Oweri Mall. Right there. So we have some hair products. I'm not 100% sure about all of these. We have this. Nothing really that I recognize here, to be honest. Yeah, the hair care aisle here is very small. I don't know. 
I don't know. But they do have a lot of accessories. The hair touch, which is good. Yeah, they don't have that much here. I guess you'd have to try different ones. Mm -hmm. ones I'm not used to. I don't know. Just I don't know. Okay, so that was the footage from ShopRite. So let's talk about let's talk about which one, which place that I was most excited about that I thought would have the most stuff. ShopRite. Hands down, I definitely thought ShopRite would have more selection, more options for hair in general, and then natural hair. Zooming in more, more products that I recognize. I was even hoping on thinking maybe I'll see, you know, as much as Shea Moisture was canceled at one point. I was hoping I'd see that because that's one of the more popular brands in the States. Like, I feel like places that don't have a huge natural hair selection, like the CVS, there's a CVS in my neighborhood, which is a very mixed neighborhood. It's definitely not majority black. But, and they have a small natural hair section and the long hair aisle. And even they put a bit of Shea Moisture. It's not the ones I use, child. It's not the ones I use. But Shea Moisture makes it in there. So I thought for sure I'd see Shea, some Shea Moisture just because. But no, not in either place. And definitely not in ShopRite, which was very surprising. And what was also very surprising is that I felt like the place that had the bigger natural hair selection or hair selection in general was actually Everyday Supermarket, which was not what I thought. Um, initially when I started this so that was pretty cool to see with all the two places that I've seen the products that I saw obviously like I get I said it wasn't a huge deep deep dive but do I think I could have my whole hair products purchased like my um my core products from here if, if I were living here and moved here I don't know because I'm so used to using certain products but again the same way I tailored my current hair products and staple products around what was around me and what I was able to find at Target, I feel like I would be able to ultimately do that here. It would take time. It took time even in the States, so I just have to remember you're pretty much starting from that scratch again. So I think I could do it. So those of y'all that might be interested in moving here, living here, I think, you know, with the selection that they had, it was quite vast. Even though I didn't recognize them, it was quite a lot. So I feel like you'd have a lot to try from. Now, what I will say though, what I will say though, is that the trying is probably gonna cost you what I love about Target. Shout out to Target. Can I get a shout out to Target? If you get a product from Target, you can use it. You can have a drop. I'm probably exaggerating. They might have rules about this. <laughs> but if the product does not work for you, you can return it. Money back guarantee, okay? So for me, that was very crucial when finding the hair products that work for me. Because you know how it is. Target's hair products can be like $20, $22, 23 and you're like, up there 30 if i'm trying out a product and it doesn't work i don't want to have a 30 dollar product that i don't like sitting in my house so again love 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 the fact that you can do that now i highly doubt that you can do the same thing at Shoprite or at everyday supermarket it seems like a, once you buy it it's yours in your house if it does not work it's yours in your house okay and that might add up for some people but hey what can you do i don't think they have any options like that probably in this country that you can use in return anyway so you just have to deal with what you have oh okay i was gonna end but i'm gonna end on this random clip so again i don't know how much i stress this but i think i stressed it in the the clip i'm gonna insert but there is a thing here with products having the packaging that you're looking for but not the content of it not being the original so people will use packaging of let's say uh shea moisture or lori especially if you're buying it in the marketplace supermarkets tend to be a bit more um reputable you can t typically count on it but if you're buying it in a market in some stall you're like oh shea moisture the chances that it's actually shea moisture in there is very slim to none similar with makeup so it's definitely hair products and it's very similar with creams makeup all of that so i was in the market for a um foundation because it's actually really hot here and i wanted a matte foundation from maybelline specifically because that's the, the foundation that i actually know my shade in I don't really do makeup like that. I don't have time to test things out. So I just wanted to go with that brown brand so that I could know my match and not have a mess up. So I was able to find a place in Legas. So we're just gonna 
rewind to Legos, um, that had reputable products in the Egbeda kind of area. So I'm going to insert that footage here. I went with my mom there to go look for it and I ended up filming a lot of the products that they had because I thought other people might be interested. So I'm going to insert that here. Let's do a quick rewind. So we're in Legos right now. Imagine yourself in Legos, okay, because that's where I am. <laughs> and I'm going to, me and my mom are going to this place called Nana Hawa, I believe. Apparently, it's a thing here, buying makeup, especially makeup that I guess um, is manufactured abroad, that people get the bottles and put different type of makeup in there and sell it like the real thing. So it's crazy, it's crazy when I figured, figured this out. So you can't just go to any stall in the market and start looking for Maybelline or Rimmel London or whatever because they could be counterfeits. So you kind of have to look on Google and figure out where is actually selling Maybelline products. Anyway. So I found one place in the location where I am, um, so Egbeda, if anyone's watching this is in Egbeda, there's this one place that I was able to find online that seems to have very good quality makeup, real makeup, so what you get is what you're paying for. So we're going to go today, I'm going to take you along, show you what I can show you there, um, if of course I'm allowed to vlog, I think it should be interesting. I'm only going there for one specific thing, I just need a matte foundation. I don't have a matte foundation. The foundation that I brought here is for normal to dry skin, which I don't even have normal to dry skin. I have more oily to normal skin. Um, I've never really had an issue with over being overly oily on my face generally in New York, but here it's very different. Um, I feel like I'm oily all the time, maybe you're not. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go grab this foundation and I think it'll be good to have because I could potentially use it even in New York in the summer because let's be real, my face does get a bit slick in the summer, not like overly oily, not like I need to blot every three seconds, but it is a bit of a shine. So let's say I do have something in New York that I would like to remain matte for in the summer, I could use that. So I feel like it's a good investment. I wish I would have thought of that before so I could have just bought it without all this hullabaloo at the, some Walgreens or Rite Aid near me without having to figure out a place to sell in the real I mean, anyway, but, you know. Just finished walking and I think this is the place. I'm gonna go inside and see. So, we actually have quite a bit of stuff. Oh. Who the beauty which I've heard about? I know. I found it. So they have LA Girl. I actually still don't have some of this, so it's fine. Toffee they have, which is good because that's hard to find here. Some good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely suggest coming here if you're looking for authentic cut. Oh, what? They even got the Eco Styler. I know you lying. I know you lying. It's all the Eco Styler peeps, so that's really pretty. Anyway, what I needed was the Maybelline Matte Foundation. Okay, which I was able to find what I was looking for in 30, 355 Coconut. I'm just gonna stick to my color that I know in the other ones. But yeah, they have so much stuff here. Really nice stuff. So if you're looking for authentic products in Egbeda, I would recommend coming here. Oh, this lip glosses. Brands I've never heard of as well, but all good stuff. So we have this, Sasha Buttercup. Have this, which I've seen in Target, all authentic. Hair bonding glue, for those that use this for the eyelashes, I heard. <laughs> That's the word so I'm which one is like, um, Okay, so yeah, that's it. That was my little vlog from Nana Hawa. I think that's how you pronounce it, Nana Hawa. Really, really great stuff. People that are aspiring makeup artists, even people that are just looking for makeup, you can count on the fact that it's gonna be authentic. So I was able to pick up what I needed there from Maybelline and then got an LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, my mom actually ended up getting that one, which is a concealer that I use too. That it's hard to find here, but it's very, it's almost everywhere in the States. Every beauty supply store, you can find it. So it was really good to see that. I am going to end it there. The links for my hair products definitely down below. I'm not home at the moment, so I put a disclaimer on the pre-sale of when I'm going to be shipping them out. So definitely check, take a look at that before you buy. But um, yeah, the hair product's still going. The hair is still going. Like I said before, I had the shipment that came into Lega. So if you're in the Lega's area and would like to finally be able to pick up a uh, hair oil, 
because again i have not been able to ship here i do have a limited amount so let me know your thoughts i'm gonna put on the screen the day that i think that this is going to be happening mm -hmm. i just gotta figure out the location i gotta figure out the location because that's a bit techy that's a bit touch and go so we will see but this is the date i'm thinking and hoping for and yes that's it that's all okay thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if this was helpful at all also let me know if you're in like places like south africa some of the hair products that you have there that are similar to hair products that you've probably seen in some american natural hair videos i am just curious if the shock rights all over look similar anyway let me go Thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Let's get into this outfit today, honey. <laughs> it's very, I'm your professor. Where's your homework? It's late. Okay. I'm your professor, and your homework 